Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to interface an accelerometer on a STM32 F4 discovery board. This STM32 F4 discovery board have an accelerometer on the board. It is a MEMS accelerometer. But uh, there is a little bit problem. STM32 cube MX do not have any module here to enable an accelerometer from here. As you can see here, it has a DC CAN, CRC, DAC, I2C, RNG, SDIO, SPI, timers and UARTs and even it has a USB and a watchdog timer WWDG but uh, it do not have any module to enable accelerometer directly from here. So we need to look it into the schematic of a board. So let me show you schematic of a board here. So if I open the schematic of a board, discovery board, F407G discovery board, here you can see PD12, 13, 14, 15 is connected with the LED 4, 3, 5 and 6, uh, which is corresponding to the green, orange, red and the blue LED. And here you can see it is LIS3 DSH MEMS accelerometer and uh, it is 3 axis accelerometer XYZ and uh, it is SPI connected with the discovery uh, board microcontroller and uh, it is using a SPI1 you know here PA5 SPI1 clock PA7 SPI MOSI PA6 SPI MISO and uh, PE3 is using a here CS pin okay so internally actually all these pins are connected with the microcontroller but STM32 cube MX do not have any module to enable this MEMS accelerometer directly so here we need to do it manually and one more thing uh, if we look into the uh, here uh, BSP support package board support package of the STM32 F4 discovery board uh, we can find all these six files here uh, stm32f4 discovery.c file and stm32f4 discovery accelerometer and the audio file that means if we are adding accelerometer then we have to enable audio devices also together otherwise we need to modify stm discovery.c file because of that STM32F4Discovery.c and .h have a definition file for audio file also. So that if I only want to use accelerometer, even after that I have to include audio modules in our program. But don't worry, we won't be using audio modules, we will just uh, enable audio modules in our program. and what we can do now we can enable here SPI 1 for let's let me enable it into the full duplex master that's mean microcontroller will be the master and MEMS will be as a slave so here you can see PA5 PA6 and the PA7 has been enabled but still PE3 is not enabled so I have to find here PE3 here I have to make it as a GPIO output okay which is connected with the chip select pin of a accelerometer now I have to also enable audio module so that let's see audio module and uh, here you can find audio module okay this is a CS43L22 it is an uh, audio DAC with a class D speaker driver and uh, it is connected with the I2S3 and as well as it is connected with the uh, I2C so that we need to enable I2S and the I2C in STM cube MX driver so I2C1 it is connected with I2C1 and it is also connected with the I2S3 into the full duplex master mode into the clock configuration let's set it uh, 168 megahertz okay 
and uh, into the RCC just enable RCC global interrupt and uh, leave other things as it is since we do not using um, DMA and uh, other interrupts based I2C SPI and I2S now we can generate uh, here so before uh, generating code we have to give here a name so first select a project location let's come back to the STM32 F4 into YouTube okay fine let's give a project name as a accelerometer and uh, tool chain ID is KLMDK version 5 and uh, to the code generation copy only the necessary files from here ok and then click on ok then it will generate a code ok initial code has been generated for KL microvision project let's open KL microvision then we have to add all these files into KL microvision so what we can do here first let's see application file here and uh, let's compile it okay so here it is generated initial files but unfortunately it is giving us some error so we have to uh, regenerate our project I think STM QBMX have some bug that's why we need to sometimes we need to regenerate our code to make it working okay now click on compile this code now it will compile successfully and uh, here you can see we do not have any BSP support package for uh, uh, accelerometer and audio so that uh, that means we need to add support package here first of all that so we can right click here okay right click and add existing files into the group so what we can do here we can go into the KL microvision project uh, folder and then into ARM then you can go into the pack and then come to Kale and then what we can do we can go into the STM32F4 TFP package and then come into the driver and here it is a BSP and then you can find STM32F4 discovery files so here we need to add all these files ok add it and also we need to add uh, files for uh, uh, DAC amplifier class D amplifier as well as for the accelerometer so uh, we, we need to add one uh, two three more files here so we need to go one more time to there ok into the KL sorry let me show you into the kale where is kale kale and then into the arm pack kale and uh, f4 okay driver and come to the bsp and then components and in the components then uh, we can go into the common sorry uh, i think we do not have into the common uh, we can yes we can find here LIS 3 DSH we need to add this file and then come here we need to also add LIS 302 DL C and we need to also add uh, CS43 L22 C okay so that's all what we need here let's compile it of course it will give us some error because uh, we need to give some uh, some header file sorry some yes some header files okay let's see why it is giving some errors so we will find yes also we need to um, add here we need to also add here a library okay so we need to add a library so that uh, we need to add it one more time what we can do add existing files from a group now we need to find the library so we, we have to come here into the middleware 
and uh, then go into the ST and then STM32 audio and then add on PDM and here we have a live PDM filter for Cortex M4 devices so we can 